pick up drug tailgate supports a crate WC equals uh, 150 pounds, which is just one as shown in the figure. The tailgate weighs TW, WT equals 60 pounds, so the weight of this one is 60 pounds. It's supported by two cables. This one, so because this is the view side, so you only see one, but there's only another one on the other side, okay? Only one is shown in the figure. Each cable has a cross sectional area of 0 0.017 inches square inch. Find the tension force in normal stress in each cable. Assume that the gate tail, uh, the tail gate is pin connected to the drug. Okay. So here's the figure, and let me draw a free body diagram for this one. Let's see, uh, which is down here. Okay. So here's a free body diagram for it. So you have a a tailgate, uh, the supported cables, and the dial uh, was uh, the, the weight of the gate, the tailgate. Okay, and here's all the distance. If you look back to the to the figure, it's just what I it's just exactly the same way I what I what you see here, but it's just in a two D dimensional. Okay, now first of all, we need to uh, as you can see right here. We have at uh, this point A, we have a reaction forces AXAY. At this point here, we have uh, because we have two cables, so I call it a 2F force. Okay, so this force can be broken down into XY component, so FX and FY. Okay, but because we have two of them, one on one on each side, so I multiply by two. Okay. The crate, the weight of the crate is 150 pounds. So I have it down here. And the weight of the tailgate, which is this one, is 60 pounds. So I have it that one down here. All right. Now, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Four nonce. And this is in equilibrium. So in equilibrium, we have only three equations. But here we have four nonce. So uh, which one should we use? Uh, if we do the summation about the x-axis, we have two unknowns. About the y-axis, we have two unknowns. What about the moment? Let's see. If we take a moment about either point, I will have only one unknown, and I can solve for it. Okay, so we we can use the moment. So in this case, I use a moment about a. You can use a moment about b. It's up to you. It doesn't matter as long as long as you need to pick a reference point. Okay. So summation about a uh, summation. A moment about point A, and I assume clockwise is a positive direction equals zero. So I have this force 60 pounds down uh, clockwise, so positive 40, 60 times the distance 14 inches. This force Fy is in counterclockwise, so I have negative Fy, negative 2 Fy times the distance in the distance from uh, A to the forces. 16 inches okay now last force i have a uh, 150 pounds in uh, clockwise direction so positive 150 times the distance which is 18 inches okay and set this equation uh, this expression equals zero then solve for the unknown would so i got fy equals one tenth point six pounds okay now let's find the angle between the cable and the tailgate so Theta equal tangent inverse of 12 over 16. Why is 12 over 16? Okay, let's go back here. So this cable, the tailgate in the wall of the truck form a triangle, okay? You, you can see, so the height of the cable in with the wall is 12. The, the, bar, the horizontal distance is 16 so this angle right here is equal to a uh, tangent of this is equal to 12 over 16 so ten. so the angle of this one is equal to tangent inverse of 12 over 16 which is what I had hit out here then the angle is equal to 36.87 degrees now let's take uh, side theta so side theta side equals opposite over 
hypotenuse okay so opposite which is fy the vertical component and f is the force okay so f equals fy over you do in some cross multiplication you have fy equals you have f equals fy divided by psi theta so plug in the values i have f equals 184.3 pounds okay now last step the com the stress in the cable is equal to the force divided by the area of the cable so you're given the area which is 0 0.017 in square inch and the force in the cable is 184.3 which is what we've just found uh, uh, put this in the calculator it gives you 10,846 psi which is uh, 10.8 ksi kilo pounds kilo psi okay so this is your final answer uh, I should also box the force right here because we are asked to find the, f the force in the cable and the, com the normal stress in the cable so these are two answers here alright that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything and I'll see you next time